Peter Kennock won the island's first ever Olympic gold medal. Well, next year, Zoe Gillings hopes to bring home its first Winter Olympics medal. The 27-year-old, who's already competed in two games, has just spent a week practicing on the very course she'll compete on in Russia next year. She's recorded an exclusive video diary for Granada Reports, and she's been speaking to Mike Hall. Zoe's on course, Zoe's on course. As jobs go, they don't get much cooler than this. But the pursuit of gold requires dedication on and off the slopes. On her return from the Winter Olympics test event in Sochi, Zoe Gillings relives every jump, every bend of the course she'll be riding in 11 months' time. It's like pump, 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 double, and then I should double these two as well, but I don't. I've been preparing for it for my whole life almost it feels like but the closer it gets the more exciting it gets and going out and actually seeing the venues and everything got me extra excited as well i've just come out of the airport here in sochi and uh, there's some big massive olympic rings behind me so uh, that was kind of exciting to see the first time i've seen them in a while so this is the hotel that i'm staying in for the week uh, it's a really nice hotel it's got a swimming pool and a little gym and everything uh, and some really nice views kind of down the valley so we've got the Athens village which is over that direction. It's not quite finished being built yet, there's a few cranes around and half built buildings and that kind of stuff. But uh, the course seems pretty good and all the facilities seem like they will be ready for next year hopefully. So uh, yeah, it'll be good I think. The Sochi Games will be Jilling's third Winter Olympics. After making her debut in Turin in 2006, she showed her world-class talent for border cross four years later in Vancouver. My eighth place in Vancouver at the Olympics was definitely, definitely a highlight. I was a bit frustrated on the day because I got injured halfway through the competition so I couldn't really finish it because I had to pull out of the final race. But it's an Olympics so it's the, the biggest competition you can possibly do and, and to finish eighth I was, I was fairly happy with that. We've got course testing today so that's where there's a few riders are picked to, do, to test the course to make sure that everything works, make sure you've got enough speed to make the landings and the jumps. <laughs> do because it's my sport but I think it's a really exciting sport anyway I mean you're never quite sure what's going to happen there's crashes all over the place injuries over the years have been quite a few I mean a few broken bones a few concussions some torn ligaments uh, injuries kind of part of life for border cross races really it's a pretty big course there's some pretty big jumps in there but they flow really nicely so as long as you're riding nice and smooth, you can get all the landings and uh, it's actually pretty nice to be honest, I really enjoyed it. Well, the Alabans never won Olympic medal for winter sports, of course, so I would, I'd very much like to be the first person to do that. How realistic is that? Um, it's, it's definitely possible. I mean, no question, I'm a, de a better snowboarder than I was three years ago and I think I've got a really good chance of, of getting onto the podium in Sochi in the next Olympics if I can just do everything right on that day and no one crashes into me. Great footage. She makes that look so easy, doesn't she? I know, it's sickening. <laughs> <laughs> but we will follow her progress, I'm sure. Thank you, Chris. Now, you